different innovations in various sectors continue to shape the modern world we live in today. Most innovations we know, like Facebook, were conceptualized in university hostels, and the innovations have not stopped. Today, we are at Mount Kigali University to witness such great ideas. A group of six students from this university has developed an IoT system that automates key features in modern apartments. In this segment, we'll be speaking to the students to learn more about this project. My name is uh, Mugisha Junior Fred, and uh, I'm in Bachelors of Business, ICT, and uh, I'm in third year, and I'm part of the IoT project, as you see. Okay, this idea was actually con conceptualized in uh, December 2023, and uh, we joined as a team. I joined the finalists, these guys who have more about IoT, so we thought of building an IoT building. So for me, the role that I was coming to play in was uh, I'm a civil engineer, so I had to join all these people so that we can do something which is smart for the country. Front door. Close front door. Open front door. So in uh, 2024 January, that's when we started and we began. So my friends there, the electrical engineers, we wanted them to come and join heads with us so that you see in IoT, IoT staffs need electricity. So for the electricity to go and uh, the IoT to be implemented in the house, we need electricity. So that's where the electrical engineers come and push so that we can get the electricity. That's where the programmers, the back end, the front ends, they join their heads so that they can build this big thing for the country. So as a big idea, we thought of, uh, we had seen many countries that are in, uh, they are developed and uh, they are in their development. So they are living a world whereby their houses, they can be controllable anywhere in the world. So we were like, why don't we do this for our country, Rwanda? Because Rwanda is a country that is developing more and more as days come. So we were like, why don't we put something better for the development of Rwanda so that Rwanda can be smart as it's becoming smart in everything. And we become smart also in uh, construction parts whereby they will be having automated houses, which will be, our, our goal will be like conserving the energy, whereby you will be using the appliances that are needed at the same right time and when you're not using the appliances, they will be blocked so that you can not use them. So this will save the energy whereby many people are spoiling. Like when you leave workers at home, they can turn on all the lights, even those that are not needed. So when you have your application at home, you will be needing to control your house, lighting the lights that are needed and those that are not needed will be off so that the energy can be conserved and Rwanda will be smart as we all wish our country to be as our president Paul Kagame emphasizes the youth to begin the smart Rwanda. Switch on AC. Switch off AC. Uh, so far, uh, our, our project is uh, now focusing on the appliances in the house, whereby we're using an application. Uh, as I told you, the engineers here, the back-end developers and front-end uh, built a good user interface whereby we will be controlling all the appliances in the house, whereby you can turn on the fridges, open windows, close doors, open doors, close windows, use the AC when the temperature is very high. And uh, also the application will be used to actually catch up with the, your voice so that the owners, in terms of security, so that the owners can be 
conservative, whereby no one else can enter your house without the permission, whereby the application will be pulling only your voice and it will be opening and closing and doing other activities, but with your voice command. So as I told you before, this application is there and it's an IoT based application whereby it will be connecting to all the appliances that are put in the house so that the house can keep on being smart. Thank you. Turn on main room. Turn off main room. Close front door. Uh, the uniqueness of this project, I will keep on saying this, our project will be focusing mostly on the home appliances, whereby we've seen different problems in other, uh, other applications whereby they're allowed to do some, some activities and they're limited to others. But our appliances, we are trying to make our application to touch on each and every appliance in the house so that you can fully have control of your house and this is one of the uniqueness of our project. Thank you. Our future intent is uh, we need a smart Kigali, smart Rwanda, and also to go abroad also in other countries, East Africa, Africa, building for them IoT-based projects. So we did this as a prototype so that we can show Rwanda that we are able and we can do this so that after we can do the project and uh, implement it in Rwanda. So our intent is uh, to make a good and a smart application whereby it will be easy for every user to use it and it will earn. First of all, in youth empowerment, will give jobs to the youth. Second, it will also earn the development to us as the developers. Most of the challenges we met and uh, we are intending on changing day to day it's energy you see sometimes we think of uh, in programming terms we think of what if electricity is off so that's the question that even the people out there have so for us as an answer to that we are planning on doing a hybrid you all know about hybrid technology whereby we will be using solar system in case the usual electricity is off, then the solar system will come to back up the electricity, whereby our problem that we are accounting will be solved by this hybrid technology. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, my school, uh, Mount Kigali University. Uh, we have, uh, they've given us one of the most important person in our team. We have uh, Mr. Eric Nyasani, he has helped us a lot. He gave us support, he gave us motivation, he gave us some books to research and know more about IoT. So this is what made us know more and have courage to do more about IoT-based projects. And we also have the school leaders that are always pushing us to the best of our limits so that we can reach outside there and implement what they've taught us here in class. So we really thank the university and we thank in person Mr. Eric Nyasani. Uh, for us, our big project, this is a very big project and uh, we really need uh, the funds from anyone who would want to join us, most especially the, the people who are into uh, programming, those who are into IoT, they might feel uh, courage to come and join us. We are pleased and will be happy to put them in our team, give us funds, give us some thoughts, ideas, which will make our Rwanda and the whole of the world smart as we all wish to have the world smart. Thank you. Front door. Close front door. Open front door.
turn on main room. Turn off main room. Close front door. Open window two. Turn on room two. Turn on room two. Turn off room two. Close window two. Switch on AC. Switch off AC. Say that uh, I'm proud of uh, my team, the students, and uh, whatever they have come up with. It is still work in progress. We are still trying to incorporate more features, um, and encouraging them to incorporate more features. And uh, it becomes a big project that can, it can, it can serve and it can make an impact to the society and as a country as well. Our learners have brilliant ideas, but partly because they lack funding, and some of these things require a lot of resources. Sometimes you find they strain a lot to source for funds to make some of these things work. And therefore, if we can have uh, some element of funding that can support such innovative ideas, I think we can uh, push the country to the next level.